So if you're like me and you do a lot of training sessions or you do a lot of professional learning, I'm going to show you a great tool that's available on any version of Windows and it's called Steps Recorder. Steps Recorder is going to make your life a lot easier, especially if you like to share screenshots or use tutorials. The first thing you have to do is go to the search menu inside Windows, go ahead and type in Steps Recorder. You should see this app that should automatically be preloaded on your version of Windows. Once you launch it, you'll see this little menu that pops up right at the top. Now, when I hit record, what Steps Recorder will do is it will take a snapshot of each step that I take. This is great if you're trying to visually model how to do certain processes. So for this one, I'm going to show you maybe a few different features of the Edge browser and how to open a new in private window. So I'm going to hit start record. Okay, this pops up just like that. You'll notice that when I click on those areas, you'll see a red dot. Each time I do that, Steps Recorder is actually taking a snapshot. So let me show you if I click on the collection part over here, this pops up. Let's go ahead and we'll click on our favorites. And now let's go over to our ellipse. Let's click on new in private window. This will pop up and I'll go and add that link to CNN that I had previously favorited. Okay, so I just did really quick three, four little step process. Let's go ahead and hit stop record. Stop recording. And now you'll notice that it this window pops up and you'll be able to see each step that I was able to do. And you'll notice that the window that I was interacting with is highlighted in green. This again is great. If you're trying to create handouts, you can very easily take each snapshot, copy and paste it to a Word document, to a Canva document, to a Google document, any, uh, any type of media that you would like to share. So this will not only give me a step and a highlighted section, it also gives you brief directions in terms of what was done as well as a timestamp and a date. Now if we go all the way up to the top, what, what's kind of cool is this will allow you to review the steps in a slideshow. It's a little bit tough to see now, but it basically is just showing one step to the other. To the other, it does give you the option to manually hit preview or next. So kind of a cool feature there as well that you're looking at. Now there is an option to save it. Now I typically haven't done much with this. When you hit save, it saves it as a zip file. I'll show you why when I open this as a zip file, it just kind of appears as an HTML document. Now you can go to websites and convert this to like a PDF if you would like, but I typically just keep it open and copy and paste each of these snapshots to a help document or to maybe a PowerPoint presentation that I'm using. So I hope this video has been helpful for you. Again, if you're looking to make really quick and easy handouts from any device with Windows, go ahead and try Steps Recorder.